Welcome back my YouTube family. I'm your instructor. My name is Rashid. I'm so excited to have you here today. In this episode, we will learn how to calculate the average sale for the last 3 months and the last 6 months in Power BI. Don't worry if you are beginner. I will explain everything in a very simple way so that anyone can understand. First, let's talk about the average sale. The average sales number tell us the performance of a business over time. It analyzes the ups and downs of the sales. and give us a clear picture of how things are going for example instead of focusing on just one month's sale the average sales of the last 3 months help us to see that sales are stable or declining over time it's like looking at a big picture instead of just small pieces now let's move to our formula to calculate the last 3 month average sales don't worry if this looks complicated i will break it down step by step so now first of all i'm going to my years and I I will click on three dots and from here I will be selecting new my year then I'm going to type three month every sale is equal to basically this is the name of the formula first we define how many months we are looking at where month is equal to three in this case we are calculating for three months so we set month is equal to three next we calculate the total sales for last three months using the dates in period function and I will store this sales in this where three month sales The calculate function in DAX modifies the context of calculation by applying specific filters. So right now I'm going to type calculate sales. I have to calculate sales. I will be applying some filters after this. So I'm going to type dates in period. The first parameter is calendar date. Basically this is the list of dates. This is a formula and the first impression of this formula is that we have to provide the list of the dates. So basically calendar date is the list of the dates. Then comma max calendar date. This will return me the maximum date in my calendar. So right now I'm having the maximum date is 31st December minus 3 month this tells power bi to go back 3 months from the latest date means from 31st December it will go back by 3 months so basically in this formula i'm going to calculate this sales and this is the filter dates in period basically this line of code is a filter my sales will be for last 3 months now my sales are stored in month sales then return and here i'm going to divide my 3 month sales on my total months so this line of code will give me the average sales of last 3 months when you want to track performance trends over time you can use this formula to check the performance of the sales if the average sales are going up every 3 months it's a good sign if they are going down it's a signal to take action for corrective measures and the best part once you understand 3 month formula you can easily modify it for 6 months even 12 months now i'm going to copy this formula and again going to my year clicking on three dots and going to open new my year and here i'm going to paste this formula and i'm going to replace this 3 month every sales with 6 month every sales and i'm going to replace this minus 3 with minus 6 press enter giving me the every sales of last 6 months 